I'm here at base camp in South Australia. It's an obstacle course training gym and I'm here to find out if a normie like me can do parkour in a One Punch Man costume. There is actually an episode of One Punch Man where he talks about how he got his costume. He got it from a tailor whose business was saved from a bunch of loan sharks. My costume was not made in that way. It doesn't matter too much though because I'm just here to test out the functionality of a cape. In the anime it never seems to get in the way when he's jumping or flipping or fighting or even in space. But is that true for me? Let's go. So you might have heard of the superhero landing. Deadpool talks about it in the Deadpool movie. Basically where superheroes fall from a huge height, land in a cool pose. The cape never goes on their head. Let's see if that's true. How does Superman not make it go on his head? I'm not fast enough. Maybe I just need to work out. In this dark tunnel, there's a, it's a wind tunnel, so there's an airplane propeller that blows wind at you to make it harder to run. Let's turn it on and get the best out of this cape. Finally! <laughs> so if capes are so terrible for running around in, then why does Saitama from One Punch Man wear one? Well, One Punch Man is very much a kind of homage to the whole superhero genre. He wears a cape because other heroes wear capes. But why do those heroes wear capes? Well, there are many reasons that a hero might wear a cape, but one reason that might apply to One Punch Man is that when drawn, a cape really easily allows the reader to see what motion is happening in the frame. One Punch Man started off as a fairly badly drawn webcomic and a cape would have been really helpful to show this movement across different scenes. Before I finish this video, thank you to Cosplay Sky who sent me this costume for free. They're kind of becoming my costume people. I just keep emailing them and be like, hey guys, got another wacky idea and they're like, Okay, what do you want? And they just send me it. So they're pretty cool. There's a link to them in the description. Also, there's a whole series of this testing costumes at the parkour gym. There's Green Arrow, Daredevil, Deadpool, and Deathstroke. They're around the place. They're good. Also, subscribe, smash that like button. God bless.